In this presentation, I am going to describe you the beta decoupling method. So in this method, we have couple of steps. The first step, we will be calculating the stock beta. We will calculate the stock alpha to identify the expensive stock among those pairs. And we will identify the decoupling phenomena if any. And it is also required to predict the trend as for the volatility. And then after the ideal condition to purchase the dependent variable when the beta is negative between minus 1 to minus 2. Ideal condition to buy the independent variable when its beta decoupling is between plus 1 to plus 2. So this is the decoupling value. This is not the beta value. So through its initiation, from the day of its initiation, this method has gone through lot of changes. So this, these are the recent developments we have brought in this method. However, all the steps are not mandatory. These two steps of calculating stock alpha and identifying the decoupling, identifying the trend as for the volatility, you can skip. But the remaining things you need to follow. Calculate the beta, identify the decouplingness and these conditions of negative beta and positive beta decoupling value, you need to follow very carefully. So I will demonstrate this thing with one example. So here, how we are going to calculate the beta and alpha. So beta and alpha requires the function covariance and variance. So now we will, with the help of this covariance and variance, we will be calculating the beta. So before calculating the beta, we have taken the past 10 days value of Bank Nifty and the State Bank of India. We have taken the percentage changes they have recorded every day basis that also we have taken here. Then after we will be using the covariance function. COVR covariance function. Covariance is nothing but it is establishing the relationship between two variables. So covariance and variance will be taking in the same series. So, so this is the covariance we have taken. And in this example, the Bank Nifty is independent and State Bank of India is dependent. So, and this is independent. I say uh, that Bank Nifty is independent and SBI is dependent. Then we will be taking the variance. So variance is only for independent variable we will be taking for variance. So once we found out the covariance and variance, then the number of days what we have taken for our experiment which is 10. So that 10 will be taking then the beta says that covariance divided by variance, covariance divided by variance, this is the place we have done and this should be multiplied with n divided by n minus 1, here n is the number of days, n 10 divided by 10 minus 1, 9, so which is saying that beta is 0.68. This represents that each 1% change in the bank nifty will bring 0.68% change in the state bank of India. This is what the beta says as per its past 10 days last traded price. Then we need to calculate the alpha. So alpha is the average return produced by the dependent variable that is SBI, the average return what it has produced minus beta multiplied with the average return produced by the bank nifty. This is called your alpha. So using alpha how you can identify the costly stock or stock which is trading above its alpha relation value. So that too from the positive, negative and zero value of the alpha you can find out. So positive alpha 
dependent is costly. Negative alpha, independent is costly. Alpha is zero, both are fairly priced. This condition holds good whenever you are taking the data less than 30 days. Here our number of data sets is 10. So these conditions will hold good. The moment this condition will change, the alpha will change its behavior. If it is more than 30 days data you are taking, then the negative alpha dependent is costly. Positive alpha independent is costly. Alpha is zero. Both are fairly priced. This is what we are going to do. So as I told you, this two also you can, this condition of alpha examination, you can skip it if you like. Then the remaining thing is left out. It's uh, calculating the beta, finding out the decouplingness, beta decouplingness and when the decoupling is above minus 1, we will purchase the dependent. When the decouplingness is positive 1, we will buy the independent. So this is what we are going to do. So I have taken and for backtesting this method, better you should take the past 3 months data. So it will backtest the method and tell you what is the exact decoupling present at this moment or currently how much decoupling value is present. So to test this, what we have done, I have taken the bank Nifty and ICICI bank. We are at the month of February now. So I have taken December, January and February. Do not worry that whether you should take 90 records. No, you should just take past three months past three months data if future contract is not available you can take the spot prices and future will be at premium or discount so that will affect somehow the, the calculation with a little bit of error but nothing wrong if you can take the spot price also so December future price I have taken then January future price I have taken throughout the month of January at what price the future has traded and till 7th February what is the price the bank nifty has traded then I have taken the ICICI bank similar way then there are percentage changes every day considering the first December the first day as the starting point I have calculated the percentage changes the bank nifty and ICICI bank recorded in every day wise and I need 10 days to calculate this beta, I have calculated the first 10 days beta which has given me 1.35. This says each 1% change in bank nifty will invite 1.35% change in the ICICI bank. So this is the what the beta says. In reality what happened? The bank nifty has gone up by 0.36%. So as per the beta proportion, so 0.36% it has gone. So as per the beta proportion, we should get the ICICI bank to move by 0.49% that to positive changes. So bank nifty moved positive. We are expecting the ICICI bank to move positive by 0.49% as per its beta relationship. However, what happened? The day which is falling on you can say 14th December the ICICI bank has recorded negative return of 0.69 so if I calculate this comes to the decoupling value of minus 1.19 so decoupling is minus 1.19 above minus 1 so I will be buying the dependent which is ICICI bank and I will be selling the bank nifty independent. So one on contract each I have taken 100% hedge almost it is coming. So buy value is 2,77,000 sell value is 2,89,000 it comes to 11,000 the more value on the sell side so nothing wrong it is almost zero level. So very next day once I am taking in the same way calculating the beta and the Comparing the price changes with respect to the 
Bank Nifty and ICICI Bank. Maybe last 15 minutes before the trade close means around 3.15 if I am calculating. I am finding out the beta as 1.30 and Bank Nifty has fallen by 3.15% and ICICI Bank has fallen by minus 2.72. So this is resulting a positive decoupling of 1.37. I have expected the ICICI Bank to fall by 4.10% but instead of that it has fallen by only 2.72%. So there is a positiveness on this beta decoupling which is 1.37. So Considering yesterday whatever the decoupling was there, today it is balancing, so I have added it, I am getting one near zero level, so I am getting 0.177, so, so this is, I am expecting that the yesterday's decoupling is got, can, got recoupled today and taking the value on 15th December, so I am getting a profit of 1530 rupees. And the very day itself, the decoupling is at positive level 1.37. So whatever the earlier decoupling, it has recoupled and today's decoupling was positive 1.37. So this too provides me one opportunity to, to trade. So positive decoupling, I will be purchasing the bank Nifty and selling the ICICI bank and this positive decoupling also above 1, above 1. So this also goes in line with my protocol of above plus 1 and plus 2. So I have bought Bank Nifty on 15th December and I have sold ICICI Bank on 15th December each one lot. Then after next day, so the decoupling again I have calculated, so it has come to 0.45. Then very next day it has expanded, gone to 1.95, very next day. Like this way it was going on and only after couple of days on the day of 3rd January this decoupling which was at the time of my initiation positive 1.37 it has come to a negative 0 0.07 so it is almost come to the zero level so on that day I have again calculated the profit and loss taking so the day was 4th January, on 4th January this decoupling has vanished and considering this is vanished means I should be at profit and at that moment I have calculated the profit, I was at a profit of 2356. So this day 4th January my decoupling has vanished, so from 4th January again I will start calculating on 4th January I do not have any trading opportunity because it is decoupling is minus 0 0.39 I'll be initiating above minus 1 very next day again I have calculated so total decouplingness has come to minus 1.35 above minus 1.35 means buy the dependent and sell the independent buy the ICICI bank and sell the bank nifty that I have initiated on 5th January and the same process has continued and the process has given a near zero decouplingness on 12th January on 12th January so negative decoupling has become near zero of positive 0 0.07 so if I calculate the profitability on that day considering my initiation trade initiation day as 5th January so I am at a profit of 4483 so so on the day of 12th January, the decoupling still present, but it is less than positive 1. So this is not an ideal condition that I should initiate a trade. I have waited for one more day. So decoupling has come to come to positive 1.45, which is falling on 13th January. So positive 1.45 means I will be buying Bank Nifty and selling ICICI Bank. So by that process, once I have initiated the trade and this trade was continuing, so you can say it was beta decoupling, sometime it was freezing, sometime it was expanding. So, but I am not getting a near zero level. On 7th February, I got a near zero level of positive 0.28. I have initiated at positive 
1.45 it has come to positive 0.28 considering this is the near zero level if I am exiting the trade so the net result I am getting as 4,685 rupees as profit. So once the the conclusion you can draw is once the decoupling is above minus 1 buy the dependent and sell the independent once the decoupling is above positive plus 1 you buy the independent and sell the dependent. So by this process this trade is being examined and by this process the trade is being tested tested till 7th February. So 7th February you have booked the profit and come out but still the decouplingness is minus 1.16 this too provides one more opportunity to buy the ICICI bank and sell the bank nifty at the price of 979 and 10,384 and once this decouplingness of negative approaches to zero level and migrate to positive level your profitability will come in this decoupling trade. So this is called beta decoupling method.